So today we're going to be looking at wattle and daub but first of all you need to build the wattle fence. Now what I've done is I've used a few poles like this. Five is a good number because you want to go in and out and in and out and in and out with the weave enough times so the whole thing holds together nicely. So another thing you have to ensure before you begin is making sure the bottom of them, especially if they're as thick as this one, gets pared down a bit, like so. So it will stick into the ground with greater ease. So what you do next is put the posts in the ground, quite simply with a nice strong mallet, like this. In a straight line, approximately 18 inches apart are the ancient measurements. So this growth here was only cut back one year ago and we have nice straight wattles coming out of this common willow. Perfect for the purposes of hand. So I've gone wattling, but not the traditional hazel. I've gone for willow because it grows three times as quick and this particular type of willow, this dog willow, as it's commonly known as, is infinitely renewable. I've loads of it around the garden. But of course what you have to do is take off all the little branches, perhaps with a large knife or indeed a machete. Make sure you do it safely. Cut away from you, like so. Don't chop your hand off. So once you have the willow processed, or indeed the hazel, you can start wattling. So you just get one length, first of all, and weave it in and out of the poles, like so. Do the first one one way, and the next one, do it the other way around, so the thick end is aligned with the thin end of the previous one and just weave it in the opposite way. Ends up with quite a nice effect. Now we're going to do the clay mix. Quite a traditional one. We use some ordinary clay mixed with water. We need some straw as well. Although in time it is said that we stopped using straw because once the clay was dry the straw was actually redundant and for added strength you could mix in bits of gravel, small kind of stones like uh, you know maybe even about up to that size or half. What you can see me doing, poking up the mixture, mixing it up, that kind of thing. Still needs a bit more clay, a bit less water, but imagine four of these going at a time from a sheep or a goat, and times that by 30, so you'd usually collect the clay from the muddiest part of the field. And sure, if they've done a poo in there as well, it only adds to the mix, and it is very much like the straw anyway. You 
You don't need to be fussy about the clay as well, straight from the ground. Don't be buying it in if you can use it for free, and the same goes with the wattles as well. You should be able to source that all quite easily in rural areas anyway. Oh, well, that's looking like a good consistency. So now, the final wattle before we do the daub part. So you slap it on, like so, and then you, you build up from there. You can go upwards, as you can see, but always build from where the clay already is. Join it to it, smooth it out nicely. So there is a very simple way to plaster walls in a very organic way. What we'll have next though is a bit more of a challenge because we've got to do the same thing to the roundhouse over here. Could take a bit of work. Thanks for listening and watching. Good luck. Hello, Mr. Caterpillar. You look like a twig. Move. Come on.